Hi, I'm Joshua with Bose Professional, and welcome to the new line of PowerShare X adaptable amplifiers. They're an ideal match for Bose Professional sound systems with onboard DSP, control space designer integration, Bose Professional loudspeaker presets, four Dante audio inputs, and much more. In this video, I'll introduce you to the hardware, so let's get started. There are three models to choose from, the 1200 watt PSX 1204D, the 2400 watt PSX 2404D, and the 4800 watt PSX 4804D. Each feature four channels of 300, 600, or 1200 watts of power respectively, and can be used in mixed impedance applications supporting two, four, and eight ohm loads, or 70 volt, 100 volt distributed lines. PowerShare X amplifiers also feature power sharing technology, providing a central power reservoir that can be allocated evenly or asymmetrically across each output, allowing you to dynamically shift power based on the load requirements and put every watt to work. Now let's take a closer look at the hardware. All three PowerShare X models are a one rack unit space saving design with a depth of only 358 millimeters or about 14.09 inches. The left vent panel on the front of the amplifier detaches via magnet standoffs. Removing the foam filter exposes several controls. A five pin serial port is available only for factory service operations. A power push button when pressed for three seconds toggles the amplifier between on and standby modes while operating mode LEDs provide power on and standby statuses. Output attenuators are available for each channel. Turning counterclockwise will increase attenuation and clockwise will decrease attenuation. They are wired in series with the remote level connector on the back of the amplifier, so they can be used to limit the output volume regardless of any remote adjustment. The call push button is reserved for future use. A soft reset push button when pressed for three seconds will reset network parameters to factory default. A hard reset push button when pressed for three seconds will restart the amplifier and any settings including loudspeaker EQ presets are left intact. This can be used as an alternative to power cycling the amplifier when the rear panel is inaccessible. If you need to reset the amplifier to factory settings, including the adjusted parameters and loudspeaker EQ presets, press and hold both the soft reset and hard reset buttons for three seconds. The check push button is available only for factory service operations. Channel status LEDs consist of a clip indicator, thermal warning minus six dB signal, minus 12 dB and minus 24 dB output headroom meters, an input signal presence meter that blinks when the channel is muted, the ready status, indicating there's no problem with the channel, and a channel fault alarm indicator. System status LEDs are also available. There is the limit LED to indicate if breaker save is enabled and limiting power draw. BRK save should be enabled when the power grid is unable to provide enough current to continuously drive the loads or when the number of amplifiers connected to the same power circuit is such that one can reach the critical power absorption of the line. When activated, breaker save halves the maximum continuous current absorption from the mains, reducing the output power. The temperature LED indicates a thermal warning and that protection is engaged. The check LED is only for factory service operations. A remote LED is reserved for future use. Power on indicates whether the system is ready or off. The mains LED provides status that AC mains voltage is inside or outside the operating range and the alarm LED indicates a PSU fault or other critical fault. Now let's focus on the rear panel connections and controls, starting on the right-hand side. GPIO connections provide a remote level, on-off, and alarm triggers. Details about how these can be used are provided in subsequent videos. DSP configuration and monitoring via Control Space Designer is provided through the Ethernet port. With Control Space Designer, you can load Bose Professional optimized loudspeaker settings to provide the best performance and long-term reliability in addition to integrating the amplifier with other Control Space enabled devices. The Dante port can receive four digital audio input channels at up to 96 kHz via a Dante network. System configuration dip switches are provided for several options. When a 10K ohm potentiometer is connected to the channel one level input and the channel one master dip switch is turned on, it will adjust the level of all four output channels. Input gain selection allows you to set the sensitivity at 26, 29, 32, and 35 dB values. 
When the NRG Save DIP switch is turned on and Auto Standby and Control Space Designer has been enabled, the amplifier will enter standby mode if input signal is absent for a user-defined amount of time. User A and user B dip switches are non-functional and completely disconnected internally. Adjustment will have no effect on the amplifier. 2 ohm, when active, optimizes the performance with exceptionally low loads by limiting the maximum output voltage to 85 volts peak per channel set for low impedance. Please note the PSX4804D can support 2 ohm loads without having to turn on a 2 ohm dip switch. In fact, you'll find the dip switch is labeled user C, and like user A and B, it is non-functional. The input section provides four balance analog audio input connections made via a Phoenix connector. Control Space Designer allows you to choose between Dante or analog for each input channel. The output section provides a Phoenix connector to mix any configuration of low and high impedance output loads. Outputs may be wired individually or can be bridged in pairs. Each channel is provided with four dip switches, 70 volt, 100 volt selection, low Z, high Z selection. And when this switch is set to high Z, the 70 volt, 100 volt dip switch is used to configure the maximum voltage available at the output. 35 Hertz, 70 Hertz, high pass filter selection, high pass filter on, high pass filter off selection. And when the high pass filter is set to on, either a 35 Hertz or 70 Hertz high pass filter can be applied to the output. This is independent of any software configuration using Control Space Designer. Lastly, located on the left is the AC mains connector. Well, that wraps up this overview of the Bose Professional PowerShare X adaptable power amplifiers. Thanks for watching.